My name is Marla Fries. I'm a transformational psychic medium. My work is about consciousness surviving death, mediating between the living and the dead, and sharing information to assist your life. Let's distinguish with the difference between a medium and a psychic as far as I'm concerned. A medium for me is talking to the dead, period. Good, let's face that bar, walk your place. Good, just get those feet back, hold more. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm Marla. Can I'm I talk Marla. to you for a few minutes? Sure you can. Okay, come on in here. Okay. I'll tell you what I do, so I, I kind of need permission to even talk to you about this, but okay. I work as a psychic and a medium, okay. and you know, a medium communicates with loved ones who have crossed over. Okay. And um, I get real emotional when I look at you, and I actually feel, um, a father figure. Has your father passed? Yes, my father did pass. Okay. He really wants to come through and talk to you. Okay. That's what was happening when I was standing beside you in class. I could feel this overwhelming, I want her to know. And I saw this man, and I knew he was your father, and it was a deep connection, but a separation. Yeah. Whether you even knew him, did you know him? No. Okay, so no. that's that's even more significant because here he is, he's dead, he finds me and wants to talk to you. That makes you sense. You didn't know him. No. It was a reason in my family that I was really not allowed to know him. I knew about him, but I never really knew him. But mm -hmm. when they cross over, they get to see what their uh, behavior or their their lack of interaction has done oh. so he has seen with you how it's affected you hmm. how the disconnect how his not being there affects you in relationships too right that would probably make a lot of sense he'd like to be able to help you interestingly enough I don't know how he could do that <laughs> well there's some, a couple of issues not that he's a relationship expert but he would like Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Okay. Advice from your father. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Uh, and there's somebody with a silver car. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And he is just going. Yeah. No. Okay. Get out of the silver car. Okay. Do you know what that's about? Yeah, I know exactly okay. what that's about. Yep. I was supposed to be in that silver car this evening, so that's really interesting. Stay out of that silver car. So that's how he could help you. Sure, <laughs> sure. I also get information like that in a psychic way. My psychic work is I'm hearing information that is from the benevolent source that is attached to all of us about any aspect of your life. It can be about your body, your career, your job, your, your patio, your car, your dog, your anybody, anything. When I walk into a house, I can feel what's wrong with it. I can see the compromise. If this is a rectangle, what I get are two places over here, there's a drainage problem, and one is, one is more significant than the other, and so... There's two leaks. I have two leaks that I've been, for the past seven years, that I cannot figure out where they are. Well, let's go show. Okay. Come on, I'll show you. So this is where the big X is. Right, this is exactly where the problem is. This whole area showed up for me. I mean, this is exactly where the leak is. There is a room, my gym mm -hmm. is underneath this driveway and it leaks in two corners. And literally the ceiling caved in from it and no one, and I had yeah. a lot of work done on it and nobody could figure out where it's coming from. You have a number of different things going on. You have something coming down from the roof. I would make sure that everything is sealed up there and make sure that this um, gutter comes out and of course you have this right here which <laughs> needs to be filled in. Yeah, I had all and that work got, done you got and it. I see the gutter pours right over the crack. Yeah, exactly. Why didn't they say this to you? Yeah. Why didn't they tell good, you? Good point. Well, someone's got to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I can show Ed the problem. It's up to Ed and a construction person to actually do what I see that needs to be handled to fix something. The groups are fun and exciting and there's a bridge that's happening with this work and I want people to understand that our, our relatives just don't disappear 
and I want to sh keep that relationship going the best I can by that communication. And the psychic part, I want people to understand that we are all connected to a source that can be there for guidance and assistance if we ask for it. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, welcome. Right now, I'd like for you to get up on your feet. Ready? You got to move like Jackie. You got to move like Jackie. Yeah, that's it. Get it going. Yeah. OK, come on. Come on. Come on. OK, clap your hands. Woo, woo, woo. All right. It's just like an old time revival. All right. All right. Let me just get myself adjusted here. All right. So that was fun. That was the best part, right? OK. Um, so far. So I'm just going to start talking about the things that I've been picking up um, prior to coming in. Anybody in this room is open to receiving something here. So um, I need to talk about someone who is a veteran, Army, Marine, etc. I'm a veteran. You're a veteran. Yes. Wow, that's interesting. Congratulations, and thank you for serving our country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm at your house. Do you need an awning man to come or a roof person to come? I just need a man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all right. We're all friends here. So I see stuff going on okay. on the roof. What? There's a little roof leak. I rent a condo. There's a little roof leak. And yeah. And actually coming this afternoon and looking at it. How about that? Yeah. Is there a, a Dorothy in the family? Um, I know my... Dad had a cousin named Dorothy. Okay, good. So hold on just a second. Oh, um, okay. So where I am is in front of a garage. The garage comes down. Um, uh, it's here. And you walk this way to the front door. This is what they're showing me. And he's in the garage. He, go, he spends time in the garage. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. What is that? A dark room. Oh, good. Perfect. He's he, in the garage. He's, oh, that's great. In in the garage, there's a dark room. Mm -hmm. that's she says he spends a lot of time there. Mm hmm. Yeah. So Dorothy's coming in. Dorothy's a little worried about dad. So whether he's had um, a circulation problem. Do you know what phlebitis is? Mm. It's a it's a thing in the legs. He's had circulation problems. Exactly. And... Yeah. It's a circulation problem in the legs. He's just gone to the acupuncturist for... Oh, good, good, good. Dorothy came in to share this piece of information for your dad. Okay. I, I'm sh being shown stuff about school and you not really interested <laughs> in looking at school. No, we were just talking about this in the last two days. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So somebody dead is telling me about this because they've been watching this. Somebody's talking about this, so I have to do this. Oh my God, talking! I've got a, I've got an accent going on here, and it's back east. Who could Jersey? that? Jersey? Yes, it's Jersey. We the... asked this person to come. To oh, me. you did? Yeah. Grandma Elaine. She would like to maternally, the best she can, parent as a grandparent. She's showing me drawing all the time. Drawing. Are you drawing sketches? Are you drawing outfits? Are you drawing things you want to wear? And you know what I'm talking about. Maybe. Yeah. I, don't know. I mean, I always like want to design clothes, like stuff. Now here, this is what's really great. Here's your grandma coming in, and she's saying, you know, sketching, drawing outfits. You know, she knows that you have that desire. Isn't that lovely? But she's basically saying, you know, you need to take this stuff seriously. And look, your dad has that money for you to go to school. It's interesting with the money issue is her dad is actually holding an inheritance from her. Yeah. From Grammy Elaine, but it's not in my name. She gave it to my dad to give it to me. It's about school. It's just confirmation for you, isn't it? Yeah. Good. You know how you channel surf, it's very fast. Sometimes when I'm talking to a dead person, they will actually show me picture after picture after picture. You know, I've got somebody here. Okay. Evelyn? It's my grandmother. Yeah. Um, the, the feeling that I get is I'm in your kitchen right now. She goes to your kitchen. Is it still, is it green? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. 
So that's the predominant color. She loves that kitchen. She never saw it. I'm happy that she's in there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she sees a lot of things, even though she's, you know. Yeah. It's funny people say that because they often say, oh, I mean, my grandmother never got to see this, or oh, yeah, they see it. I see a, is there a patio off the side of that kitchen, too? Yes. Um, something's wrong with the stone. Do you have to fix the stone? She's talking about it. There's some stonework outside that needs to be fixed, Melissa. It needs to be put in. It's waiting oh, to be put in. I yes. Mean, yeah. Yes, good. Good. Fix that. She likes that. She loves coming to visit you. She shows me this. You like this with her. <laughs> this is what you did. And you did this. So she so shows me that. She just wants me to do that back to you. So she's just doing this really gently. and She just wants you to feel that from her. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that was great with my grandmother. That's what I hear. You know, I get I get emotional thinking about it because I'm just I'm amazed at how benevolent spirit is. And I think there's a reason that I do this work. It's not just to communicate with the dead people so that you know you, ha you get to talk to your grandmother. It's basically to keep that relationship going. I'm not bringing closure. I'm bringing more life to the relationship. They want to have a relationship with you. They want to be remembered. Perfect example. Bessie was ill and she knew it and she wanted us to see how ill she was. Hi guys. Um, this is Marla. Hi. Hi. Marla, how are you? Oh, I'm I'm good. Thanks thanks for asking. Hey, listen. Um, we just want to talk about what happened yesterday, because okay. Bessie coming in and the way that she came in through me is pretty significant. I barely can breathe. So it's in my chest. I'm nervous. I'm upset. I'm actually freaking out. So I've got medication running through my body. I want to cry. I'm unhappy. I'm disoriented. It was key for her to come through me in the sort of the agitated state that she had when she was living so that you guys would know that this was her. I know. I know who you're talking about. Okay, good. Because she just wants to be understood and nobody understood her before she passed. Yeah. Okay, do you, you get what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, it's like, oh good, I'm feeling so much better. But she had to show me that. She had to physically show me how um, disturbing it was for her. And to also know that she's sorry. Yeah. You know, and um, she just wants you to tell the family she's okay. Okay. It's my, my father's mother and she had dementia. She was one of those people that had to be um, tied, tied, down, tied down, and she thought everybody was stealing from her. Um, and she always said, no one understands. She recognizes that, oh, she's playing cards. So it's, She plays cards. Yeah, yeah. So, so she's fine, but she needed you to see that, and you need to tell the family she just was not in her right mind. And she wants you to understand that since she's crossed over, that she's okay and that she's sorry because she recognizes, you know, she recognizes what her behavior did when she was living. Yeah. It's a great message for our family. She wants you all to, to understand that there is an opportunity here for healing. Yeah. And then she said, and when, as soon as she was finished, and Marla sort of, I could visually see Marla relax. Mm -hmm. And she goes, okay, she's feeling better now. She's going back to playing cards. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's the wildest thing. Which is exactly what she yeah. would do. That's what she lived for. Unbelievable. <laughs> she's, she's fine, but whatever happened to her here with that mental disorder and how it created problems in the family, she wanted her family to know she was sorry so that there can be some form of healing if they're open to that. It's an amazing experience to be able to share someone else's family, someone else's life. They're, in, they're intense.